Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well wherever you are in the world. I really enjoyed yesterday's episode. I really, I read all of the comments. I really enjoyed reading where you guys were from and it really made my day. So greetings to you all once again. Welcome back team Famous Fortunes. We are the best tarot community in the world. That's a fact. I absolutely love you all. And I must say, doing this is a huge... Uh, it's, it's just a very, very big source of joy for me. And I love doing this. I love reading the comments. And I love you all. So let that be known. <laughs> let it be known. We don't need to do a spread on how much I love you guys. That I can tell you. All right. So today, we are going to have a look... What are we going to have a look at? Oh, so in the moment, uh, I've completely forgotten the topic. It is, it is, where is it? Where did it go? Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. All right, here it is. Uh, Megan and Harry, uh, excuse me, aren't Megan and Harry banned from using their titles on merch? I thought they were banned. I thought they weren't allowed to call themselves their titles to sell merch, basically, uh, and to fundraise, I didn't realize that they were not, uh, I, I thought they were banned, and I thought they weren't allowed to do it, and that's the whole Sussex Royal thing, and that going south, and all the rest of it, but no, apparently they're using their titles now on books, and uh, to promote themselves, and their their interests at, uh, at charitable events, so I'm just curious, aren't they banned? Let's find out, let's find out, let's ask the cards, Let's see what is going on behind the scenes. Are they just doing it anyway? What is going on? What is going on there? Let's find out today. Let's find out today. If you have a question for a future video, Team Famous Fortunes, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments below. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. All right, cards are shuffled. The cards are hot. Let's have a look. What do we got? The Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. The world, the nine of cups, and the knight of cups. Radio underlying energy, the sun, the sun is the underlying energy. So we have two major arcanas here sitting right smack bang in the middle of this particular reading. Now, I'm going to pull another card for the underlying energy because I think it is very relevant. The eight of swords. Two underlying energies today. You can see here with the sun that they're definitely bringing their titles to the light of day. They're definitely making it well known that what their titles are. But at the same time, there's a certain restriction there with the Eight of Swords. They are very, very restricted in what they actually can do with them. So... Is it seems to be there's a bit of a conflict happening here. There's a bit of a conflict on the cards. Uh, it seems like they're pushing ahead anyway. Mm. <laughs> you can see here with the Eight of Pentacles, they are using their titles for work. This is the Ace of Swords. You probably want to look at the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles together. They're using their title as a as a, it's kind of like a value add to their work, a value add to their work. Obviously, that's what it is, but they're going ahead and doing it. That's what they're, that is what they're doing. There's no doubt about that. They're using it to, you know, quite literally cash in on with the Eight of Pentacles. It's, it's a cashing in on the title. Uh, so there's that, there's that. I mean, that's not going to shock anyone. That's not going to shock anyone, but but 
but but are they meant to be doing it? I don't think so from the Eight of Swords. I think that there actually are there are some restrictions here, but they're not. There's a, there is conflict on the cards. There is absolutely conflict on the cards. So let that be known. Let that be known. They're definitely, yeah, definitely using it for making money. Definitely using it for making money. They're very happy about what they're doing with the Nine of Cups. They are extremely, I'm going to say smug here. They're very, very smug about what's happening. And... They're very smug. They, it, it actually gives them a great sense of pleasure to be doing what they're doing. It gives them a great sense of pleasure and satisfaction to be using their titles. For that to be on display here, you have the world as the center card. It seems that they, they, they are... Th their intention is to fully make sure that everyone in the world knows their title, knows who they are and how how royal they are. If you put it into context, they want everyone to know how royal they are. It, it, actually, an interesting element of this reading that isn't apparent at first glance of these cards, but if you dig deeper with the underlying energies here of the sun... The sun, the sun. So there is absolutely, a, there's a double meaning here in that they are finding the title for Archie to be, Archie being their son, to be quite restrictive for them. So they're trying to, uh, it's a great source of, this is a source of, uh, it must be a sticking point for them. Let's say that this is a sticking point, this whole uh, title for the, the children, uh, which we know because of the interview, the infamous interview, we know this now. We know it's a sticking point, but it really is. Uh, it's it's kind of like a thorn in their side that they haven't been able to accomplish this so far, and they really, really, it's it's definitely something they want. It's a major. Uh, it's a major piece of the puzzle for them in terms of their game plan in terms of their agenda so that's it's it's seemingly a bit of an issue it's seemingly a bit of an issue and it's kind of uh it's it's there and it won't it won't go away so this is a, this is going to be a problem that they're going to be working on for some time they're going to be working on it for some time but really the the, they, they're not going to stop doing this from what I can see on the cards. They're going to just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Now, the question is, and this is actually a question I received in the comments a few days ago now. I can't remember exactly which video, but the, the question was, after the interview, after everything that's happened, will their titles be taken away now? If you'd like to see that video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Could be a good follow-up to this video. I think it is might be time to revisit that topic. We have we have done a reading on it before. We have read on this before. And the answer was Here we go. Famous Fortunes. Wow, listen to this. Famous Fortunes episode 10. Will the Queen strip them of their royal titles? Uh check that one out. It looks like everything was going but the titles at that point. Then there was Famous Fortunes 94. Uh, will Archie be given a royal title? It did not look positive for that to happen. It did not look like that was on the cards. And that is, you can see why it's become a sticking point now with the underlying energies here. You can see why it is a sticking point for them. It's, it's a sticking point. It's a sticking point. So... I don't anticipate it's going to happen based on that reading. Based on that reading. But will there it, have things changed? Do we need to revisit this topic? I think it's worth a look. But what do you guys think, Team Famous Fortunes? Let me know in the comments below. Should we look at this again? 
Should we look at whether or not their titles will be taken now? Or maybe we could ask, a, we could do a, we could do a follow-up question to that even. What will it take for their titles to be taken? What will it take? What What's going to be the threshold? What's going to be the threshold? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which way you want me to go. But I think it is a very, very good idea for a follow-up.